Hi everyone, welcome on board to Hopper.tv where you get the reliable news that is tailored for you and of course where you can actually comment and interact. Some of reactions by Nigerians greeted the court documents relating to the litigation involving former Lagos State Governor Bola Mektinumbu and also national leader of the present party or progressive congress. Bola Ahmed Tinumbu somehow had escaped several allegations that have been put up. I mean, never went to prison. That's not to say the rest of the goons around him that we know and we don't know are not also involved in one crime or the other. At least they said allegedly. Former Lagos State Governor Bola Tinumbu, it was revealed how Vintage Press, publishers of the nation newspaper, reportedly received 1 billion naira alongside two other printing firms. A report on the People's Gazette said that Boakwara, who filed a statement of claim recently at the Lagos State High Court, Igushere, described how funds were moved in apparent money laundering from Alphabeta Consulting to businesses and individuals allegedly linked to Bola Mertinumbu. Now, let me give you a little bit of background on this story. First, this man, Dakwa Para, said he came up with an idea of creating a private company, a private firm that will coordinate the tax revenue in Lagos State. And presenting this, Bola Metinubu said, if I am to accept this, 70% of the share of this firm belongs to me and you take 30. Bola Metinubu later divided this among his own men, the guys that work for him. He made use of a governor, he made use of some other individuals. He divided this into two, the shares into two, 40, 30. And after a while, they came up with a new law in Lagos State. And with this law, this business law, Bola Metinubu circumvented every other thing and now became the chief partner of that alphabeta consulting and i'll tell you all of the revenues coming into lagos state comes through bola metinubu do not forget that bola metinubu's daughter is a yaoloja and billions of naira comes in every day from revenue generated all over lagos state and many other you know avenues that they generate money from so what we can say is this bola metinubu has found a way to hone dominate Lagos State as it is. Now, move on. Now, Alphabeta Consulting is a company that was previously a contractor to the Lagos State government and managed the state internally generated revenue in exchange for a commission, as they claimed. Akbara was among the earliest executives of the Alphabeta Consulting. The firm has been accused of being a conduit that channels Lagos public funds into Tinubu's political empire. And when this Akwara man spoke about this, he was kicked out, as he claimed, illegally. They kicked him out of the company, and that is it. The 30% that belongs to him, he cannot lay claim to it, as he cannot face the thugs that he, he claims. that he, he, Of course, that's what it is. He cannot face the thugs. Instead, he was forcefully kicked out of the firm, physically, and everything thrown outside. And, of course, you know, he cannot face the political dogs or whatever it is that surrounds Bola Metunumbu. Alphabeta transferred one billion to a company that publishes The Nation, like I said, and another Afka Printing Press and Lagoon Press Limited in 2017, Akpara claimed in his statement. However, the document presented did not clarify the stated purpose of the one billion suspicious transfer or how much of it went to the nation. A newspaper, Tinubu is widely adjudged as the owner. A claim neither he nor the company has denied after years of circulation. And of course, they said he owns a TV station too. In his statement of claim, Akbarat described Tinubu as a, con as a controlling interest in Alpha Beta Limited, who hid his connection with Alpha Beta from the public. Now, this 40 page court document, which had gone viral, says Tinubu and Alpha Beta must enter a defense in the matter within. Uh, on this matter within the next 42 days and i don't know with how bola metinubu has bought 
everything. I mean, hone legal state somehow. I don't know if the judge that will be on this case will be willing to allow justice to prevail just for salary. Do not forget, probably the judge will be paid like 1.5 million naira per month or thereabouts. Will this judge do the right thing if Bola Metunubu sends two things that they do send? Silver or land? What is the silver? Bribe money. Take this 50 million naira. Take this 100 million naira and forget about this case. Die it down. Or the land, which is death. Those are the two things they oftentimes want to offer. So I don't know if and how this case is going to go. And being the national leader of the All Progressive Congress, although he's losing face somehow, do you think he might be able to find a way around it? Anyway, let us see what people are saying as regards this. A lot of comments trailed this. Once Tinubu is about to go down, they will use everything they have against him. The Speaker of Lagos State Assembly is currently at the EFCC. The fight is becoming interesting. Hmm, really? Another person here said, Boy, this lawsuit by Mr. Lada Kwakwara of Infinity System Enterprises looks that the key we have all been finding, okay, we all have been finding to unlock Bola Ahmed Tinubu allegedly high 45 business front or more. The affidavit is filled with Jews. Watch out for the full story. Another one say, Alpha, Beta and Tinubu are on the chopping bar. 2023 will be lit. Notice the mention of Yemi Osibanjo in the court process. It. It's not mere coincidence. In this country, stuff like that are well calculated and executed. Very similar to the petition by John Norum against Jimo Ibrahim and Nikon Group back then. EFCC did nothing. One day, we shall all agree that EFCC itself is too corrupt to fight corruption. And that's the truth. That's the reality of these things. Well, let's move on. One person say 1% of 40, 400 billion is 4 billion naira. 10% of 400 billion equals 40 billion. Whichever one that is true, it is important we get rid of this man and all his political associates in Lagos. Tinubu boasted that Magu would protect him against Alpha Beta XMD. And now, Alpha Beta. It is said that Tinubu boasted that Magu would protect him as says Alpha Beta XMD. So this thing is just out there. Tinubu, after he the court paper, so people are already mocking him. Someone here said, I think the real wonder is that Tinubu actually believes that Buari will ever hand over to him. He should look at what he did to Shomali and advise himself well. Now, according to Sarah reporters also, it is said that Ashwaju Tinubu used Oshun Governor Boyega Yetola orders as front for Alpha Beta, of course, with a commission. BMC comrades, BMC comrades are gloating over Article News a few days ago. They were so in love with Premium Times that they shared the links of Article Scandal everywhere. Now it's Tinubu's turn. Then they disguise different strokes for different folks. Check the timeline of events on Tinubu Alpha Beta Tax Evasion Saga. It's not today. Oh well, let me know when it's finally sanctioned or jailed for tax evasion for me. It isn't worth my time. That's it. Look, a lot, a lot, a lot. 1.5 trillion naira in tax over 15 years. And negotiations don't have access to social amenities with such taxation. This is deep. According to Alpha Beta for MD, Alpha Beta, Tinubu Fat Cow has received over a 15, 150 billion in commission alone from Lagos State Purse since 2010. Their negotiations, when will this slavery end? EFCC secures court order to freeze three bank accounts belonging to Lagos State Speaker Obasa. Obasa Gate, the eat is coming. From every single, from every angle, Tinubu is not left out. The hand is near. APC Assembly people will hopefully learn our lessons from what is about to happen to Tinubu since they have refused to learn from the past. This is deep. Very deep. It seems the end of Bola Me Tinubu is near. And I think all the wolves and vampires like himself that are out there will make sure that they dwell on this and Make sure they magnify this so as to stop any ambition that he has. Not because they themselves are clean. They are a bunch of criminals themselves. But with this, 
Um, it's like a case of what happened between Obaseki and Oshomole. Oshomole never knew that Obaseki could be the end of his career. But he felt he was a APC chairman, national chairman and all of that. But all his problems started with just a pinch and it became what it is. Do you think that this is the end of Bola Metinumbu? His political career and just everything. I say a very big thank you to those who have taken time to subscribe to this channel and if you're yet to subscribe kindly tap on that subscription button and also the red bell icon so you will be notified whenever videos such as this are uploaded.